hello there hi welcome back to my channel today we're talking candles though and um basically all the things that i regret buying as a candle maker you need a lot of stuff i mean you all know you any small business really that involve any kind of craft you're going to need lots of things and candle making is no different and through my candle making journey i bought a lot of stuff that i don't necessarily feel like i need it now um and there was better alternative out there so what i'm going to do is talk to you through all the things that you should not buy that i made the mistake to buy so you don't have to stay tuned let's dive right in yes so this is a thermometer and this is specifically supposed to be either like a candy thermometer or a candle wax thermometer it felt like a good idea at the beginning why it felt like a good idea at the beginning because my business was not at scale i was not making lots of candle at once and i thought oh, this is pretty cool i was using a double boiler and at the time i thought this is really easy i'm gonna get my picture I'm going to be able to clip it on the side like so and it's going to be so great because it's going to be so easy to read the temperature rather than having to do it wrong 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 this is not something that is scalable for the business the temperature is not really accurate um this is definitely not something i would do second thing that i made the mistake buying thinking it was a good idea so please don't do it a plastic pitcher so why did I think it was a good idea in the first place I'm thinking first it's cheap way cheaper than the one that I could see like using aluminum and I was like yeah cheaper and I thought oh this is really good like this like thing is gonna help, like help me make less of a mess to be able to pour in my mold or in my jar more efficiently I didn't think for a second that this is only a one liter pic pitcher that this was going to contain what three candles of my smaller one and then maybe maybe like I can't even pull like my my big butt candle with this like this is not enough wax in there so not scalable but also I melted so many of those with my heat gun that you can see here behind me because you want to remove the excess wax that is around it if you're using fragrance you're going to have to go at a higher temperature to get the fragrance gone and how many did I melt I think too many to confess i'm afraid but this was not a good, good idea also when you're starting off using a double boiler method i used to put like this directly into the water of my pan it's it's really slow like much slower like the plastic doesn't diffuse the heat at, as much as a metal pitcher does so please don't do it instead this this is the best option so you've got various sizes. this is a small format you can see behind me here i've got a collection i'm still using my plastic one you know it's here i bought i paid them i'm going to use them until they break um i'm not going to waste money either you know it's there but i don't think it's like looking back i would probably just buy all metal um uh, pitcher because it just doesn't make sense so this is better really easy to clean you can just go in with your heat gun remove all the excess wax destroy all the fragrance wipe it clean with some alcohol to make sure everything is gone this one is better number three i don't have it anymore it was my first endeavor at scaling my um my candle making business by uh getting some kind of device to melt wax and i could see in the us a lot of you guys that had access to presto pots and presto pot with a spout and all that and this was definitely not available here in the uk for me so i was looking around i saw in various facebook group that some people were using a crock pot this is a crock pot and your girl went and got herself a crock pot because you know why not so in retrospect it was definitely a bad idea because again i was looking to scale my business but didn't really visualize success for myself i went and thought oh it's going to be better than my double boiler and having a two liter pitcher on a pan with water in it it was definitely better than that it would contain probably up to three to four liter of kilogram of wax so that was quite good in terms of bigger definitely that uh, however 
I didn't envision my own success of needing to make more than that and probably be better off investing in something like this from the start or this way more expensive but I've been using it for longer and it's been really a good partner for my business the crock pot was very slow to melt it took forever even on the highest setting it's it's a slow cooker basically so it's not made to melt wax it was very hard to get the uh, the wax out um even trying to take the pot out and like pour it in a pitcher was hard because it, the pot was made of something like very heavy so that plus the wax it was really hard and slippery to get out so not a great idea in retrospect always set yourself up for success even though it feels like you're spending way too much money on something i swear to you this is going to be worth it in the long run if you're committed to do it and to make it a, a viable business of course but it's better investing in a soup kettle i think the the next step in retrospect i should have gone for the soup kettle as my scalability step to melt wax um, and then having my um my big melter was a game changer as well don't make my mistake think about your success and visualize your success first and don't think oh for now it will do no because you're going to actually spend more money um, by buying something that is not going to be helpful for the long run those were the things that i wanted to share with you today let me know if there was anything that i missed that you feel as a candle maker or small business owner that you did get that was absolutely useless please share that in the comments um, as usual don't forget to subscribe and like this video um, and yeah let me know what you think in the comment maybe you fully disagree with me and let's talk about it all right i'll see you very soon for a new video bye bye